usually we have a family. Yeah, we have a good family. I think in this retreat we have 20 family. So in each group, in each family, so uh, the facilitator is trying to open up the mind, the heart. So we create a safe zone, zone for them to share. So slowly they trust each other. They start to have a trust each other. Then uh, they can really share it out. This is a little bit, they feel safe. When you feel safe, then you can really open up and share it in the circle. So uh, this is also I like so much about this, uh, what we call this Dharma sharing in family. It can really open, open up the heart of the people, the young one, the adult, also the same. But we, because we are creating a, 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 a safe space for them, then they can really share it out. So uh, this, is, uh, this is the miracle. But we try to build up the trust on each other. After they have the first day, maybe the second day, they still don't understand each other. But after the third day, they start to talk each other, they feel comfortable. And then, ding, can you share? Then they start really share it out. And uh, it's really healing, it's really healing. Because in the outside world, they are, they always been judged by someone. But here, we don't judge. We try not to judge. This is what we call the deep listening. Deep listening is not you listen, I try to listen deeply. No, 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 no. We don't like, oh, I, li I was listening deeply. That is not the practice. But actually, the deep listening is without any judgment. That is the deep listening. You open up yourself, and also you can have, you can help others to really share it out. So usually after after the dharma sharing in the family, yeah. So uh, we keep it as in the family. We don't share it out, so they feel safe. When the person when he hear others suffering, then he or she start to recognize that, oh, wow, actually it's not me who suffer. The others also suffer, and if you trigger. He or she, the compassion in them. Oh, wow. So uh, this is what we call the love. Sometimes the love, it yeah. arises in them. So actually I have to embrace them. Yeah. So this is what we, tr what we call true understanding. Then it can arise love. This is the two. Yeah. So he start to understand, oh wow, the are all the suffer. Then the real love will grow in them, so we can embrace. What we call compassion, yeah, compassion to embrace. So there is a healing there. It come quite naturally. Yeah, it quite come naturally. This is what we call a human. If human human race start to understand each other, your own suffer and also the other suffer, it can make uh, more. Peace of, uh, the world will become more peaceful if we start to really understand ourselves and also the suffering in us and also the suffering the, from the others. Yeah. So uh, this world will become more peaceful. But because we are too selfish, we always say, I am the only one who suffer. Then it makes the peace is very difficult to happen. But if you really can see they suffer in you and also suffer the others, the peace can happen. And our mother earth will be very happy. <laughs>